Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we will study about skipping rows in Excel, which means in Data Factory, when the source data set is Excel and it has some extra rows at the top or the header and we want to exclude those rows to get the data, let's say from this row. Okay, this should be the data in the output data set. So in this scenario, we'll be taking copy data activity with the source as the Excel and we want the output to be like this. Okay, so the Excel sheet I'll show you which will be used. So this is the Excel sheet, Excel skip headers source.xls where we have three different sheets, sheet, sheet one, sheet two. Okay, these three sheets have similar kind of data where we are not interested to take these first two rows. We are interested to copy from row number four onwards till last. Okay, so let's go to the portal. And in the container, I will replace this source file. So it is Excel skip header source dot XLS. This file is already placed. So we'll create the pipeline. Skip rows in Excel. We'll take the copy data activity and we'll go to the source tab and connect to this source data set. So the data is in my Gen2 and among these formats we have to select this time excel link service already there we'll browse to the file path so the file is present inside the test input folder as excel skip header source so click over it click ok let's wait for the sheet name to populate over here so now it has populated all the three sheets, we will select one of the sheets and we'll check here first row as header, click OK. So once we have selected the source data set, other settings have also appeared here. Next job is to open this data set. Let's open it by clicking on open there and here you could see the file path is set. In the Excel data set settings, we have this configuration of sheet name where we can select from the sheets which are available in the Excel. Okay, so we have selected sheet only the first sheet. So we will here preview the data. Let's try to preview the data. How it looks. So the data original is like this. We will see it here. So it looks like taking the item ID as the first row as header, then the values. Okay. So it has taken just the first column. Right. Now we are not interested to show these two rows. So if you click over the first cell of the Excel, it shows the location as A1. If you click on the second A2, then A3 then A4. So this place from where the employee ID column starts is the cell number A4. So we want the data to start from A4. So it will exclude the cells which are before that. So what we will do here, we have another setting below the sheet name as range. Specify a range in the worksheet to locate the data. For example, A3, H5. This is the just the example. So in our case, it is not A3. Instead, it is A4. Okay, from where we want the data. So let's click on A4. So we have given the range here. Now, let's again preview the data. Now you can see that the data is showing up from employee ID. Okay, 
So from here A4 the data is showing up. Let's say just to play around we'll now keep it as A5. Let's preview the data. So it is showing me from 1 onwards. This is A5. Okay. So we have skipped the number of rows in the Excel sheet using this range configuration which is present in the Excel data set connection tab. Okay. So we'll select the sheet and mention the range from where we want the data. Okay. So this we have set over here. We'll go back to the copy data activity. Now we will connect the sync. So let's select the sync. So we want the data in this Gen2 account only. When we select Excel as the source, the target could not be Excel. So we'll select the delimited text that is CSV, storage selection, then file path. This time we want it in test output folder. OK, click OK. First row is having header. We'll click OK and done. Here by default the file extension comes as .txt. Setting is done. We'll validate this activity and pipeline. We'll publish the changes. And we'll perform a debug run. So the file here will be generated at the test output location with the same name as the source file. Okay, so this succeeded. We'll go to the test output folder this time inside the container. So this is test output folder. We will click on refresh. And we'll look for the latest file which is generated. So this is the latest file 2.11.10.45 pm. So this is the file which is generated and the time signifies that. So we'll open this and download it. Let's try to open this file. So this file was generated as dot txt and this looks fine it is starting from employee id it is giving us the data from the a4 cell which we have set here in the data set so the a4 cell has been selected hence the data which is showing up in the output is from employee id row okay i hope you've got the understanding so this was a very simple video on how to skip rows when the data set is Excel using this range configuration property in the Excel data set. So thank you for watching the video. Happy learning to all. Bye.